Welcome back to LFTV. Marty Pello is currently on stage, but we've got much more important things to talk about in the studio. We'll be going back to the stage though soon, so don't worry. So we've got... Um, if Hi, my name's Brian Porter. I've uh, represented Teenage Cancer Trust this week. Uh, we were fortunate enough to have the first night to do a charity collection and raise awareness because every day in the UK, seven young people aged 13 to 24 are given the devastating news that they have cancer. And Teenage Cancer Trust is the only charity that provides specialist care so that these people can be teenagers first and um, cancer patients second. So it's vitally important that we raise as much money as we can to raise awareness and provide the important care these kids now, need. For people obviously watching home you'll see there's a number of different people here and we'll, we're going down the line interested in charities and why it's so important for Living Festival, well to be involved in Living Festival. What, what have you been doing at the festival? We were, we had the first night so we started off with car parking, we were taking tickets off people and generally making sure people had a, a good time as well as that all important bucket collection at the end well, of the night. I was going to say, so the money that people are obviously giving, how, how, how important is that? How far, and what, what, what are they helping? What, what, well, Teenage Cancer Trust currently reaches out to half of the young people and we want to reach out to the other, other half and that's in the region of £20 million a year. So it's vitally important that we keep money coming in, A, to fund the projects that we've already got going, but secondly, to reach out to the other half of the young people that we're currently not able to reach. And tonight, are you enjoying the lovely show that we've Absolutely that's tonight? phenomenal <laughs> out there. <laughs> <laughs> what, what a joy to be able to come back and watch a bit of that. That's absolutely outstanding out there. And are you looking forward to, well, getting back out there scene tonight? Certainly, yeah. Yeah, it's, uh, it's a little damp, but hey, who cares? The music's absolutely stunning out there. Well, thank you very much. Would you like a to pleasure. pass the microphone on? Introduce yourself. Hi, my name's Tracy Beeston. I work uh, as a volunteer at the Street Life Charity in Blackpool. I'm a local volunteer, um, working with 16 to 25 year old homeless young people. Um, my role predominantly is working in the night shelter, open 365 days a year. Um, it's been fantastic being here at Lytham and able to raise awareness of what we're trying to do for young yeah. people. Well, I was going to say, what, what does it, how does this help you? How does Lytham Festival help you? And when people obviously get involved, or how can they get involved? Um, if people want to get involved in volunteering and supporting Street Life, we do have a website. There's all ways of getting involved. You can become a volunteer in the shelter or in the base where we support people during the day or by providing donations of food, clothing for young people, and lots of ways. But if you look on our We Are Street Life website, um, there's lots of information on there. But this, raising the funds and the money here, um, and I'll actually say a little bit more about that shortly, well, um, I was going to say, the money that is raised, what yeah. does that go towards? What does that help? That actually what? helps us keep our shelter open um, every night of the year, from 7 in the evening till 9 in and the how, morning. How much do you need to, on a sort of daily um, basis? Do you I'm not sure, you, with, the, with the shelter, to keep <laughs> Sorry, that running every there. day. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, yeah it lot. is, it is. It's um, because we, we open up and we can accommodate up to eight young people every night oh, and that's fully providing them beds, safety for the evening, so um, someone to talk to, um, support services, food, clothing, um, someone to get clean and just be safe for them for a few hours every night. And what's your name, sorry, because you're from the same... Um, my name's Ashley Warms I run the shelter and the shelter team leader. So um, over the whole year we um, help out 400 uh, young people, so Blackpool as as well as why I'm um, filed so it's good to like be at Living Festival and um, so we've raised our awareness again in Living. So, so you say it's 400, 400 is a number you meet these people yeah you see when people obviously donate they help you see the effects yeah and, and what's it like for the people who've received help I mean how can they sort of I mean it must be incredible for them I think for me, one of the when you can see, or it's been really positive, is actually when the young people find their way again. They're back in uh, with how homes and housing, and actually become volunteers themselves, and want to get back involved and actually become part of street life, but from a volunteer and get involved with getting the qualifications. So that is no bigger compliment than those people that you've helped actually turning around and becoming part of the street life team, supporting others. And how much are you enjoying the festival tonight? Oh, it's so amazing. Far? It's lovely. Marta Pello's an all-time hero, so this is just <laughs> fabulous for me. <laughs> there you go. Well, well, thank you so much. And I'm glad, that obviously, that we can, we can help. If you'd like to pass on in, you can clearly see by this one, Brian House. Hello, if you'd like to yes. introduce yourselves. I'm Michelle Lonigan from Brian House and Community Fundraiser there. Um, we've got Lindsay here. Hi, I'm Lindsay, the head of fundraising at the hospice. Okay, so this is our, our third year here. Um, previously, we had to uh, do every night, which is quite a challenge. It's nice to do one night, the Saturday night, which was madness. Um, that was 
good fun, wasn't it? We've had a good night last night. This is about raising awareness for the children's hospice on the Fylde Coast. We need £1.2 million a year to operate. Yeah. At the moment, we're underfunded by about £500,000. Wow. So Trinity Hospice supports the, the extra bit that we need. But of course, we would like to do more in the community yeah. with Trinity. So this is why it's so, so important I mean, to raise awareness. Just to the bring awareness. Uh, many Joseph's now, you guys, you want to introduce yourself as well. Sorry, just... Um, I'm Liz D. Um, I'm uh, actually Edward's mum. Um, Edward D was um, a local child. Um, we only live in St Anne's, just down the road. And Edward was a huge part of the community here in St Anne's and Lytham and um, did everything. Um, threw himself into absolutely everything that you could possibly imagine. A kid that lived life to the full. And um, Edward was taken from us really, really suddenly. Um, and it's about. Um, it's not just a local thing for me, it's about raising awareness and funds for meningitis now. But personally for me, this is, um, this is for Edward, yeah. um, who, you know, we're on home turf. Um, and I, I mean, I feel sorry, sorry to sorry to interrupt, because obviously we, we, you know, we're running out of time, but how, how, just how important is this? How important is it for you, you know, getting the money and making the, raising the awareness? Well, it, it, the fact that we're here, um, in a place where it, it means so much to where um, I live, Edward lived. Yeah. Um, it, it's not just raising awareness in, in, in his hometown, yeah. but this puts us on the platform to, to raise awareness nationally. Yeah. You know, if we can get um, on TV, if we can get some tweets from some of these yeah. celebrities, if we can just just put meningitis on the map, put meningitis on everybody's radar because there really isn't any time whatsoever. It's about put it, looking for the symptoms, the signs and symptoms, yeah. um, and just putting that on people's radar. Well, I just want to say thank you so much, guys, for joining me on the sofa, and also to everyone who's helped uh, donate over the week. Thank you very much.